Hello everyone. Welcome to scarlet.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is hypertensive heart diseases. It contains two kind of hypertensive heart diseases, systemic hypertensive heart diseases and pulmonary hypertensive heart diseases. So we'll start with hypertension. We'll start with the definition of hypertension, what hypertension is, how do we label a person hypertensive? What is the marker for labeling the person hypertensive? At what blood pressure that we mark the patient as hypertensive? That this patient is hypertensive. Next time we're going to talk about how this heart disease, this hypertensive heart disease leads to heart failure. We're going to talk about how these factors of hypertensive heart disease may one day or another day lead to cardiac failure or heart failure. Next time we're going to talk about systemic hypertensive heart diseases that how systemic hypertensive heart diseases affect the whole body, how they develop, what's the pathogenesis of them and what in turn uh, gets out of those diseases. First of all, we're going to talk about core pulmonary, which is actually an other type of hypertensive heart disease. It's called pulmonary hypertensive heart disease. We're going to talk about how core pulmonary comes in effect. How is it caused? How a pulmonary vasculature any problem in the pulmonary vasculature can lead to right ventricular hypertrophy and right ventricular failure. Both of them combined are called core pulmonary. So we're going to talk about how the sequence of events, how the sequence of events may lead to the development of core pulmonary. Next time we're going to talk about the causes of core pulmonary. We're going to talk about the causes of systemic hypertensive heart diseases. And throughout this lecture, we're going to be comparing between systemic hypertensive heart diseases and pulmonary hypertensive heart diseases. So we're going to learn about uh, causes behind the hypertensive heart diseases, whether they are systemic, whether they're pulmonary, which causes are there, which uh, uh, lead to the formation of systemic heart diseases and pulmonary heart diseases. After the causes, we're going to move on to the pathogenesis of them. We're going to learn the, what's the pathogenesis of systemic heart diseases. We were going to talk about what's the pathogenesis of pulmonary hypertensive heart diseases, how they are different from each other, what are the basic reasons that they develop and what factors lead uh, to the development of these diseases. And all of that will be covered under the heading of pathogenesis. Next on, we'll learn about the pathology that on a gross section, how do we see uh, a systemic hypertensive patient and a core pulmonary patient. Next time we're going to talk about the clinical features of those patients. We're going to talk about how a systemic hypertensive patient will present to you and how a core pulmonary patient will present to you. Most of those symptoms will be similar, but then there are these symptoms which are very different from each other. So we're going to talk about how to differentiate between this, these two diseases, these two pathologies on the basis of their clinical features and on the basis of their history. So for watching this complete lecture and other variety of lectures, please subscribe to skyrocom Thank you for watching.